Hi there, everybody. We are continuing our lunch lesson series. We're bringing in some of the fine chefs from the local schools out there. This is Doris Demers from the Oyster River School District. First of all, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks for inviting me. This is always fun. Soon, yeah. So we're making up uh, a yummy dish that you guys make in school there. What are you doing? Uh, this is something that is a new re one of our new recipes. Okay. Um, it's sort of a, a different variation of your uh, Philly cheesesteak. We're all okay. trying to eat less red meat. I love Philly so, cheesesteak. So um, okay. this is a chicken Philly mashed potato oh. bowl. If you look at trends, bowls are really big right now. Okay. Kids like bowls, rice bowls, potato bowls. Sure. So we, we're using a little bread bowl that gives them their two ounces of whole grain. Okay. I've cut up lots of peppers and onions, nice and thin, and um, sauteing them with some cooked chicken. This is a good way to use some leftover chicken too if you're... Oh yeah, that's a good idea. If okay. you've got a, we use a little fajita seasoning because the kids really like that. Okay. Mashed potatoes. I think this is interesting. Are really popular. Steak. Okay. So you want yep. a mashed potato. Mashed you, potatoes are really popular. So I've already these made together. these. Okay. So what we do is we fill the potato bowl. Fill the bowl up. With about a half a cup of mashed potatoes. Make a little so this is there. coming to the cafeteria this fall. This actually, we've already done this, okay. and uh, we will. We tried it last year, and it was very popular. Okay, so it's been um, kid tested. It has been kid, te kid tested. It also won a little um, recipe challenge contest. Or just a little one. So your chicken and your veggies go right on top. It's a nice and filling meal for those high school students who complained that the new regulations wouldn't fill them up. Okay, good um, for the growing kids out there. Absolutely, tasty, and of course, you got to top it with cheese because it's not going to be a Philly mashed potato bowl <laughs> unless you put the cheese on. That'll get all melty and delicious. So now they have, when we add milk to that, they have all their components of a meal. Delicious, it's trendy. The kids love it? The kids love it. So this actually, this won a competition though? It did, it did. One of our vendors, uh, actually the vendor who makes this bowl, this yeah. bread bowl, asked for a recipe. Um, recipe ideas and we came up with this and uh, then put it on our menu and the kids really liked it. Yeah. How, how, challenging is it, how challenging is it to get food that is good that the kids will eat but yet healthy? Uh, it's not really that challenging. Yeah. If, if you look, um, look at what restaurants are doing yeah. and then things that are high in fat, just find ways to sort of replace those high fat items with healthier items. Replace all the grains with whole grains. Um, kids industry is doing really well in making products that are much more palatable now. Yep. The whole grains used to be really strong, now they're really good. Um, this is a hit. Uh, I was going to say, if this is going to be on the menu, maybe you'll see me in the cafeteria. Oh, you're coming always up, welcome. Coming up in a few weeks from now. <laughs> All always right. welcome. Doris Demers from the Oyster River School District, thank you very much for being here. Great thank idea you. right there. That does it for us.